everyone asks me, you always talk about what you love about Provo and living in Provo. What is one thing, if you had to pick one thing that you did not like about Provo, Utah? So I started thinking about that and yeah, there's one thing I will tell you, there is one thing I don't like and that is dust. So I live in the mountains, so I live high up in elevation and I live in the hills and Provo, so I don't live down really low in the valley and I get a lot of dust. And I thought at first it's because I'm renovating my house and I've been renovating it now. This is going to be my third year starting in July. It'll be my third year renovating my house. It's still not done, but I'm doing it all myself with one of my sons. So it just takes us a lot longer because I still have to work and everything, right? And show you houses and sell your homes and work with my virtual assistant company and all of the things and the other businesses that I own. So I'm like, I have to fit that in on Saturdays basically. So now our upstairs is almost done and the kitchen is in and everything. And there hasn't, we haven't been doing like construction, construction stuff right now for a while. And I just noticed there's so much dust and I, it's not construction dust. It's regular dust. How does the dust get in your house? It's been winter. So I haven't even been opening up my windows, which is one of the things I love about Provo, as you know, in my video about the things I love about Provo, um, is that I love that I can open my windows and have fresh air come in, but it's still a little chilly for that. So I haven't been doing that. So the dust isn't from that. And the reason I bring that up is because when I lived in Florida, so I'm just comparing the two, when I lived in Florida, for 27 years, I hardly ever had dust. And then when I lived in California, I don't remember, and I lived in Washington state, I don't remember those places and all the other places I've lived. I was younger or I wasn't paying attention to busy raising kids, wasn't probably into dusting very much all those years. But in Florida, I noticed, and I started thinking, I think it's the humidity in Florida. So humidity is heavy. So I noticed this with our cat and how he, his hair is everywhere in the house too. And I'm always sweeping up his hair here in Utah. Whereas in Florida, I very rarely had to sleep, uh, sweep up his hair. Number one, it can be the seasons changing and he's shedding more at different seasons, but it doesn't float around in Florida because it's the humidity makes the air heavy. And so everything lands on the floor. So instead of dust, we just get like sand. We, there's not a lot of dust there, it's more sand. Um, and so you get sand, part maybe really small particles of sand and you sweep it up because it's on the floor and the hair lands on the floor. Well, here in Utah, it's on my shelves, on top of my refrigerator, on top of my washer, on that little thing around my washer, on like on my um, tea kettle. Like, I'm just like, where does all this dust come from? So that's the only thing that I can say that's been a, quite an annoyance here. But today I'm out here on my beautiful deck. The It's um, April, it's still, today it's really cold. Tomorrow it's gonna be really warm. So we're gonna kind of go in and out. Today it'll, it's like 52 right now and I love the 50s. It's so my favorite weather is 50s and 60s. So tomorrow it'll be in the 60s. It's gonna be really exciting and fun. I'll be uh, walking around our neighborhood and it's just really fun. Of course, I love to walk in the snow too. So you always will see me walking in the snow around here anyway. Uh, if you ever are looking for a home or need to sell your home in Provo, Utah or anywhere in Utah, just let me know. We would be glad, Tristan and I would be glad to help you.